All right, guys, more G-Shock here. This time we have the new G-Shock 2100 series. These are the Bluetooth and Tough Solar, the GAB2100-1A. That's this black variant here with the positive digital display. Retail price, $150. Module is five, six, eight, nine. Both of them are gonna have the same module. This yellow one is the GAB2100C-9A. $10 more for the yellow colorway at $160. Probably gonna get a discount if you buy these direct from authorized dealers, such as my preferred authorized dealer, Mimo's Jewelry. So I will put a link to Mimo's in the description down below and a discount code, definitely check them out. So the 2100 has obviously been a big smash hit with G-Shock. I don't know that they realized that was going to happen, but it did happen. So that's why they keep evolving this particular model. We're gonna see an evolution of this model, I think into premium grades, such as full metal. I mean, they've already toyed with the metal bezel, but like they're gonna do like bracelet and everything, and maybe even some sapphire crystals, maybe some loomed indexes. I think we're gonna see everything we want eventually over time, it'll be the evolution of it. One problem I'm having right now, before we get into the size, I have to say, and maybe you guys own one of these and I'm missing something here, but I downloaded the G-Shock app and nowhere in the list is this model and there's no update or anything like that. And then I checked it on another device, I checked it on my phone and I also cannot find the GAB2100. So I can't connect to Bluetooth. I, it, it's not in the app, so and I don't think there's another app. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. Guys, let me know if I'm missing something. Obviously, I must be. There's no way they would launch this and it not be in their app. I'm using the G-Shock Connect app, and it's just not there. So I was hoping to show you guys a quick demonstration of the uh, app features. But regardless, really, we can just set everything via the uh, the buttons here. It's actually pretty intuitive. You just hold the adjust button down. And we can then go through the different uh, uh, time zones here. I'm going to put it on NYC because that is my time zone, Eastern Standard Time. So let's see as we're scrolling through here. Got to be getting close. Yes, we are getting close. There it is. So, I mean, that's going to put it uh, close to my time. So you can see the battery level there is at medium. Um, all right, so 2100, I mean, they're gonna be kind of the same. Uh, basically, we're looking at 45 and a half millimeter case, approximately 48 and a half millimeter lug to lug, 11.75 millimeter thick, and weighing in at 51 grams. It has a um, mineral crystal of sorts. The tough solar is going to be on the dial there. You're gonna see it looks a little bit different, and that's just because it has to be translucent to a certain extent. So there's a solar cell below that, so you can get a charge. Um, how long will it take to charge? It might take a little while. I've been noticing people telling me that uh, they, they're having a difficult time getting full charges on a lot of their newer G-Shocks. So uh, just put it in direct sun, guys, for like two, three days, and then hopefully you'll peg out that uh, meter. Both these are on medium right now. You can see the sub dial over there at the nine that's pointing towards medium. So if you run through the features though on this, you can say you hit mode and now it's on world time. It's on stopwatch. So you can do the stopwatch feature, which would be displayed in your little L, L, uh, LCD or LED. Is that LCD? I think it's LCD. And then you have a countdown timer and alarms and then back to your standard time, which is how most people are going to use this watch. Uh, you obviously have a light feature. Um, let's see, can we do, yeah, we can change if we hit adjust why we're not adjusting anything. You can put it into date. So today would be June 18th, which is not correct. So I will have to adjust that. Uh, and it is Thursday. Okay. So yeah, no, that's the time. Sorry. Wow, I think I'm tired. So 618 is the time. So you have digital time and then the analog time and then the date is correct at 623 for the time I'm recording this and then Thursday. So personally, I'm probably gonna display it on the um, day date like that 
because I don't need to know that it's Thursday. I know it's Thursday. So uh, that's the simple application. If you want to adjust, you can cycle through more on that, but let's go to wrist shots and then we'll show the light so we can keep the video kind of short as I'm bumbling around. And I'm going to keep one of these. I think I'm going to sell one and then I'm going to keep one. So uh, your guess is as good as mine, but I'm probably going to sell the yellow one since I already have a buyer for it. But there's the yellow one on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. They're, I mean, they're super comfortable at 51 grams. It's hard to beat regardless of whatever size it might be. But the yellow is just maybe a little too bold for some people. But for the for the guy that I'm selling it to, I think he's going to really like it. So let's check out the black colorway on wrist. This is going to be the one I think I'm going to keep because I don't really have a 2100 right now. So I kind of want one in my collection temporarily at least until a new model comes out that uh, tickles my fancy a little bit more than this one. The one thing I will say I like about the yellow one over the black one is the indexes. It is easily more legible with the white framed handset versus the black and then of course the white indexes. I almost wish all that stuff was over on this one. So um, honestly, I mean, I could just swap the modules, but I'm not going to do that because I'm sure the the guy that's going to buy this wouldn't appreciate that. But I would like this module and dial and handset and everything over in this black one, and it would be pretty sweet watch, I think. So like I said, there's going to be an evolution. There's going to be other colorways. They're going to exploit the heck out of this and be very profitable in doing so. That is their ultimate goal. Let's kill the lights and check the um, backlighting and... There's a little bit of loom, like on this one, or both of them, you got the hour and minute hand, but you have an LED light and a backlight on the LCD. So, but missed opportunity on this one because, yeah, the indexes are not loomed. So in the future, G-Shock, if you're watching this, just loom the indexes so we don't have to go aftermarket. See you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.